Yo, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. We're going to talk about the Lakers again. I know, I know you tired of me, the resident <laughs> who likes to use him as a punching bag every Monday and Thursday to continue with the onslaught. But I got to. But today, I'm going to be defending LeBron James. Because the game that I seen yesterday, Sly and Da Vinci can attest to this, was a disgrace. This, LeBron James, okay, the last six games, 30 plus, he's one in five. Last night, yet again, I've been saying it, I know Da Vinci agrees with it, and Sly might, you know, kind of turn the corner on it. Russ has got to go, bro. Like, there's no... I'm on board. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> Russ has got to go, bro. Like, the turnovers this guy did in the last, like, what? The last quarter? Missing layups? Bro. Listen, <laughs> I damn near woke my whole household up. It, was, it wasn't... It wasn't... Oh, man. Drove me crazy. <sighs> so, the Vinci... Come defend your lake of them. Come defend your lake of them. Go on here. But when when have I when have I been defending the Lakers? Uh, no, I'm saying now you have to defend your lake of them. I can't defend the Lakers. <laughs> How can I defend the Lakers when you got Westbrook doing that type of stuff, man? Like, how can I defend him? All I can do is defend LeBron James because the man is playing out of his mind since he came back. And that's one thing I'll never let no one uh, shit on him for. He's balling out. The rest of the teams are playing like, I don't know what to say. If you guys have a word, let me know. Garbage juice. Well, garbage juice it is. But yeah, also, hold on, though. Hold on. LeBron's not playing defense, bro. Let's not, let's not let him off the hook now. Yo, he, stop don't it. Don't roll your eyes. You don't stop it. You stop it. You stop nah, it. Because he right. You right, man. I hate I to say it. Gave you know, Bron's my boy. Bron, defensively, Bron ain't. But when you got to carry the load on offense, you're 37 years old. Which one? Hypocrite. You can't be out there yeah, locking up. Hypocrite. That's the world. That's all this violent. See? You <laughs> listen, stop it, listen. Kid. No, no, no. Listen. I give him all the props and all of the accolades that he's accomplished this year offensively at the age that he's at. Remember, we had this discussion. I told you. He's the reason why the Lakers are doo doo right now. Yeah, why man, would you pick right up there. Russ when you know he's not gonna be good for your chemistry? Period. I'm not blaming this just on AD. I'm not blaming this just on LeBron. The whole team is a retirement home, bro. And LeBron was the first one to say, keep that same energy. Well, guess what, LeBron? I got time today, cuz y'all old as dirt, McGirt, and. Y'all playing like ass. The worst Yo. defensive team in the league right now. <laughs> Running the fastest pace. LeBron has never ran at a fast pace. All of his championships have been won with him doing a slow pace, being methodical, being able to set people up. Gilbert Arena said it the best. He has a mind of a computer. He's always playing chess on the court. You can't play chess on the court when you got people playing checkers, bro. Yo, okay, little details, facts. Whoever thought Westbrook could gel with Anthony Davis and LeBron James is ludicrous. And if they actually thought themselves that he could, that's ludicrous. That's who it was. <laughs> if, okay, so if they thought that, that was ludicrous. I, just like I said in the last video, um, it's just, is it a case of you want to play with your boy? Because if you look at the team that won the championship, Anthony Davis Flores, because why? He had guards that get him into position and give him the ball. If you look at the Lakers now, there, there's no identity in the team. When you have Westbrook as your point guard, there's no identity. Right? Why Rondo still sit? Exactly. I said, this, if Rondo was running the show, it would be a different story. Why did why they get rid of IT so quick? As if he was the problem. He was there for 10 days. Oh, by the I, way, he did score his first buckets with uh, the Mavericks. So shout yes, out to I IT. seen that. Shout, that shout out to crazy. IT. 
the guy that everybody wanted to just doo doo on. I understand he's small, maybe can't play defense the way he's supposed to, but come on now. He's not the problem with the Lakers, bro. The Lakers are their own problem. The yeah. Lakers the Lakers were uh horrible before he got there. So whoever's saying that is he's using his my SK code. Yeah, so can't even nineteen, baby. <laughs> but no, I, I got mean, a little um I think I'm I got a I got a couple takes though. Uh, first, first and foremost, man, um, LeBron, LeBron should be commended for his play. Of course, like he's out there, he's balling, man. That dude is, he's doing, we've never seen nobody do what he's doing, man. Never been done before, but I have to be objective. It's my favorite player of all time. I don't think. I, I don't think his problem is where he's lacking. He's still like physically, he can go, he can do it, he can score points, he can, he can still push the ball, he can still make the right decisions. But what he can't do anymore, he can't, he can't raise the level of the guys around him like he used to. And I noticed that because remember back in the day, LeBron could take us and my daughters to the finals, man. Now. It's, it ain't as easy for him. He needs that help. And when his help ain't operating like they should, because back in the day, the, the rest of the team could be playing trash. LeBron going to figure it out. But now, I think LeBron needs his teammates to step he like No, he needs them to step up. Like, if they don't, it's, it ain't going to work. And also, I think another thing is there's no space on the court anymore. They don't have the shooters. And Westbrook makes it so much worse because they're not guarding him. They are not guarding him. Like, he has all the space in the world to shoot. Like, they're playing him, like, giving him, like, six feet. And it's, it's, it, it shrinks the court. Like, especially for Anthony Davis, he can't operate in the post at all. LeBron really can't get to the cup like he wants to unless it's in transition because the court is so much smaller. Like, THT, oh, my God, bro. I liked him so much last year. He got to go too. The boy cannot, he can't shoot to save his life. He might be just as bad as Russ. Like, he cannot shoot. Russ, if you would, I, yo, that layup he blew last night, dog, I'm talking about, <laughs> listen, I blew a gasket. Like, cause, like we, we come, we, we keeping it close. It's like the game's on the line at this point. He blew the layup. Like, but the thing is, I think Russell Westbrook, his athleticism is declining because he would have dunked that maybe a couple years ago. He And that was the problem. He got up there. He wanted to dunk it and realized he couldn't. I'm like, hey, man, that, you're watching the Lakers play is like watching, like, it's so frustrating, man. It's so frustrating. It's like watching, it's like, watching like a, a camera surveillance of like somebody you love getting robbed. It's like. It's just painful. Like, you can't do nothing about it. It's like you mad watching it, too. Like, oh, it's just, it was so bad, man. Like, but I, I don't think it's over for the Lakers, though. Like, I honestly don't. I still think, like, if you got LeBron, you always got a chance. So, I don't think it's over for him. Uh, Vince, you go ahead and see what you got to say because I'm going to close it off. <laughs> well, listen, I got to say, hey, slice point or fire. Um, Absolutely. If you watch the game in context and details, and you know and you know basketball, what Sly is saying is straight facts. Um, yes, we've seen LeBron do that before, years and years. Like the first Cleveland team he took to the finals. I mean, like, come on, how many people you know could do that, right? So that's straight facts. All I gotta say, man, is um, if you look at the style of how Westbrook plays and how he's doing right now, it's just like. He's forcing everything, and he's always been that player. He's just rushing to the rim. It's not like, yo, get Anthony Davis in a pick and roll. Yeah. His athleticism is, is declining, too. So it's like he can't even he, – he's not the fastest, most athletic player on the court every game anymore. As you can see last night, it, John, it was John Morant. John Morant was cooking Russ, man. Like, oh, my – man. All right, we could go to the next topic whenever y'all ready. That game – Drove me crazy. Okay, yeah. uh, I'm just gonna end it out with this. Okay, Russ cost cost you guys the game when he went for that rebound and knocked his own play out the way. That's one. <laughs> two, two. I hate to say this to anybody who might think that I'm talking crazy or that I'm full of doo doo. You tell me, an older superstar that doesn't need a supporting cast to be 
his supporting cast to help lift him up in certain situations where he might be tired or out of gas and give him that extra energy boost by them doing something that he may have been able to do, but, you know, just wasn't able to do at that time and give the whole team a boost. And I think that in itself is the issue with the Lakers. Okay, that and they got too many big men that don't do nothing. So 